you know, in this community, there's not a lot of basketball courts and there's also not a lot of neutral ground. Um, so I think this can serve as kind of an oasis where people from different parts of the neighborhood can come and play without, you know, being concerned about their safety or... Yeah, I think it, it's, it's gonna look awesome. Hopefully it'll play awesome. Um, and hopefully we get it done in time. <laughs> I started Project Back, but I didn't really have a vision for growth. It was kind of to address a specific need. I noticed that a lot of the public parks in Memphis didn't have game lines on them. I was painting the game lines, and after about a dozen courts, we came to a park where an artist had shade structures next to the basketball court. I asked the artist what color the game lines should be and he ended up coming up with the design for the entire court surface. The way people reacted to that space made it clear that, you know, this idea of working with artists to create something unique for a public park could really change the way people engage the space and it was an idea worth exploring. You wanna do this and you can get the tile set up? You know, my background is really all basketball. I don't really have any art background at all. As far as talking about the design and creating the vision for the art, I'll ask the artist or the artist will want to have some sessions with the community just to get a sense of the values of that community and what's important to them before they create the vision for the park. You know, in every case, we try to hire some local assistants from that community, some high school or college students interested in art. People see you out there painting in their park and they just, they come up and just ask what's going on and decide to jump on board and assist. Basketball has done so much for me in my life and to really find something that fully gives back, like this court is gonna, it's gonna be here forever. Because I deal with having to get permission from parks departments and city officials, having, you know, the website that looks professional is really helpful. One of the great things about the partnership with GoDaddy is the people have been great. And I think the website is something that helps people see the overall vision for what I'm doing, provide some more information, and also social media. Those are tools that help you kind of bridge those connection gaps and, and be in touch with people. We just do a HTML code bar here that will give you their Instagram feed across. A website that looks good on the smartphone is really important because I know that for most people that's going to be their first engagement with Project Backboard. That sort of connection is important for me to have with people who reach out because, again, I want them to feel like they can do this, right? It's, I didn't have any special skills that, that led me this way, and so quick communication is, is a great way to make people feel supported in their own efforts. The response has been well beyond my expectations, and I'm continually grateful for the attention and the people who reach out and who want to partner. The most gratifying win is that I can pay my brother for his graphic design services instead of asking him to do stuff for free all the time. <laughs> I'm never gonna be able to reach every court or every community that needs a hand, but the way we're gonna actually achieve the mission is gonna be by inspiring people in every community to make sure their parks are safe and inviting for outdoor basketball. It becomes a spot people wanna spend time at.